Skin tags are common and benign. They're also called acrocordons. They're also known as pedunculated fibromas. They are small and forgettable. They are protuberances that stick out of the skin. They most commonly appear on the upper body in areas subject to friction and moisture, axillary, under the collar, or at the bra line. In study after study, mostly from Europe and the Middle East, skin tags have been shown to be markers for various aspects of the metabolic syndrome. Elevated cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, basal hyperinsulinemia, reactive hypoglycemia, elevated fasting plasma glucose, postprandial hyperglycemia, and overt diabetes mellitus type 2. One study from Turkey was especially striking. 88 of 120 patients with skin tags were found to have diabetes mellitus, and another 10 patients were on their way to diabetes with reactive hypoglycemia, or glucose intolerance. That was an impressive 98 out of 120 patients, all told. Conversely, another study from the Netherlands pointed out that of the subjects with abnormal lab results, only 15% of them failed to exhibit cutaneous markers, skin tags, acanthosis nigricans, that's the, the dark warty skin growths, or enlarged waistline. So it's possible that we might be looking at as many as 80% of patients with visible skin tags who also have some degree of metabolic syndrome, up to and including diabetes. Well, it seems that the number of skin tags is correlated with the severity of the carbohydrate dysmetabolism. In other words, the greater the number of skin tags, the greater the probability of abnormal labs, and the greater the severity of findings upon deeper investigation. A study from Iran noted that more than 30 skin tags was a marker for full-blown diabetes. In a study from the UK, three out of four patients with skin tags plus abnormal lipid profiles turned out to have coronary artery disease. Well, because skin tags are associated with heart disease, it's a good idea to periodically screen patients for metabolic syndrome. The ZRT offers a cardiometabolic screening test using dried blood spot. We can look at insulin, high sensitivity C-reactive protein, hemoglobin A1C, triglycerides, and cholesterol. Take a look.